everyone and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. It's me, Wokey here with Snake Drinking Water and nobody else. Uh, Zen is on vacation right now, so it's just me. Still me by myself trying to bring it down. It does, which is probably why you've noticed uh, To Be Released. Let me tell you, when it's just me by myself and I'm doing Dokkan stuff, I always imagine it's better to just make a Dokkan video, like actual, like, uh, me playing Dokkan, because these don't always end up being like 10 to, 10 to, they're not long, they're 10 to 15 minutes long, but I feel the need to still do them, even if I'm by myself, because like, I don't know, it's like one of your shows, like a show someone actually legitimately watches, like I'm trying to think of a show, a recent show, it doesn't matter, but the idea is, is that you watch every episode kind of regardless, and even though I personally think that it's better when I have someone here to actually talk to, and it's not just me talking about Dokkan, because I feel like uh, at that point, um, there's plenty of people you could go to. You could go to Deepree to do solo stuff. You could go to Rhyme. You could go to any of those other guys to listen to solo Dokkan things. I'm really more just a clown here to entertain, but I digress. Anyway, let's talk about Dokkan. That's enough forefront. Um... All right, so today's unit up on the big boy scale is none other than Piccolo merged with Kami. I completely took down. It's also really hot, so you'll forgive me. I'm also kind of starting to get a cold, so I'm not feeling my best right now. But it's okay, because we're going to do this regardless, and we'll do this together. All right, everyone? All right, let's see. Um, Piccolo. His name is Piccolo. And snake drinking water, I'm going to need you to distract the people while I actually go look for your goddamn information. Alright, let's see. I actually found it. No, that's that's perfect cell. Keep stalling, snake. Keep keep drinking. Nobody will ask questions if you're drinking. Alright, I have the information now. Thank you, snake. Uh, okay, let's see. The fusion of Kami and the Demon King Piccolo. And the Demon King, and then his name is just Piccolo. Leader skills Namekians, uh, key plus four, attack and defense 170%, and then, or its rival category is three key, attack and defense, HP of uh, 150%. I also meant um, HP for the other ones, if I didn't mention it, my bad. It's the basic boost, 170% to Namekians, and then 150 to rivals. His super attack is destructive wave. His passive skill is called a difficult choice. His attack and defense go up 100%, recover 77% HP whenever HP is 70 center or below. To, and you can see the enemy whenever HP is 77%, 77? Yeah, 77% or below for C enemy super attacks. And then his active skill is fusion with Kami. Fused with Kami can be activated when HP is 70% or above. And there is another Namekians category ally on the team starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only and then when he's actually fused um his super attack is the light grenade his passive skill is called superpower attack and defense 120 percent reduces damage received by 40 percent raises the chance to perform a critical hit by 10 percent up and 40 percent the more hp remaining the greater the chance recover 10 percent hp whenever hp is 70 percent or below and you can see the enemy's uh, super attacks just always. And let me check the other one to make sure that I missed a coma or something. Uh, okay, yeah, no. It says when his HP is low, that's when you can see it. And his categories are, of course, only Namekians and Rivals. And his link skills are Z Fighters, Experience Fighters, Namekians, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, and Fierce Battle. And I want to say it's the same to even when fused with Kami. It is the same even when fused with Kami, so... Um, so Piccolo, his animations are, for one thing, amazing, gorgeous to look at. They're not, they're not peak Super Saiyan Goku and Kid Goku in my eyes, because those are peak animations in my eyes. But I would say I like it more than LR, Frieza, and Goku, personally. If you don't agree with that, that's fine, but that's the way I see it. Just because, like, the hell... The Hell Zone Grenade, or the Light Grenade as they call it here, is just the coolest move in concept. Like, you throw all, like, the fucking light balls all over, and then you trap them, and then you close your hands. It's like, that's cool. That's And then also, the building blows up at the end. And also his, um, uh, 
his I'm sorry, the his active skill when he fuses with comedy is also very nice. It's like very simple, but you know, it works out. Considering that a lot of other um active skills are either bombastic, like um Kid Goku and the LR Go Bros, or they are like Pan, where Pan is kinda carried by her music, I wanna say. Or it's the LRGTs, which are just shitty all around. Um I think his is really good as well. And now for the actual unit itself, I think, I don't know what's up. Maybe I haven't seen enough, but I definitely think that a lot of people are underselling this unit. I've seen a lot of people say like, oh man, the Piccolo banner is bait. You know, it's bait. But when if they release a good unit, then that's not bait, right? That's stupid, because what's up ahead? What, what, what I'm saying is that if you can look, bait banner should only actually be specified if you're playing global. Because if you're playing global, you actually know what's up ahead. If you're playing JP, you have no idea what's a bait banner. The only time there's an actual legit 100% bait banner is if it's one, those uh, type only. Or two, it's something like if they brought back a Rayleigh. Because no one, a Rayleigh, as much as I love her banner, is a bait banner because like they've only brought it up right before a very important thing and it's super limited. Um... And the only time it ever comes back is to completely just fuck over people who did not, who like, they know that she's about to be disappearing for like an entire year and you're not going to see her again. It's similar to like, I guess, Fake Grand Order has kind of these, it's basically a Fake Grand Order banner in Dokkan. If you ever wonder how it's like to summon a Fake Grand Order, imagine if every banner was the Aureli banner and then you'd know exactly how it'd feel like, like the units disappear for years and you never know if they're ever going to come back, so... I don't see Piccolo as bait, because for one thing, he's extremely good. The only thing I can say is that because of the shitty system Dokkan has for finding a leader, Dokkan needs to add a button. They need to realize that the friend system is dead, and just add a button that just says, replicate the leader, because all I really need is my leader again. And if you want a stronger leader, you can get a friend leader, because that 100% solves the leader skill problem, because not everyone can find a good friend and do all that good stuff. And it would be work great for like specifically units like uh, Piccolo, who is fantastic in his category, but it's actually hard to find a leader. And I think it's something that Dokkan should definitely look into. I don't know when. Like, Basically, if they do that, they understand that the friend system is basically fucked. There's no saving it. So that's why they'll never do it. But they should do it because it's good for the people. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think the only real negatives on Piccolo are all things that are negative to, like, um, the Dokkan side of thing. Like, the his restriction of being next to a Namekian wouldn't be a big problem if the fact that they did not release Nail. If you don't have Nail and Piccolo, I guess it's kind of a bummer. And that, if you don't have Nail or Slug or any of the other Namekians, then Piccolo will never see his true potential, and that's unfortunate. Um... But, like, I just don't... Especially because now there's actually some good Namekians that can go next to him. It's not just Piccolo. It's the free-to-play... Um, what the hell's their name? Beef and Stroganoff? The... Sactual and Prina? They're good. Nail is fantastic. Um, if you're really desperate, you got free-to-play Slug as well. Um, you also got uh, Kami, who is... Who is technically free to play even though he's on the shitty uh dragon ball banner in wall tournament you got the fantastic new king piccolo and that's really about it so uh both young and old of course are also in the world tournament banner so again this is things if you're desperate but i don't know i really don't see any negatives on this guy i the the, the few negatives i mentioned are only because it's like he needs to be next to a Namekian, but he's the leader of a Namekian, so maybe he's not the best leader for Rivals, and Rivals is a really funky category because they just came out of nowhere, so it's like it's a lot of Vegetas, and it's a lot of, um, funny enough, there's a lot of Vegetas, not, not, no Gokus, so Goku is not the rival of Vegeta, so Vegeta's on here, I guess, kind of rival list for the most part. Who's the rival of Vegeta? Vegeta? Vegeta is the rival of Vegeta. That makes sense. But you have Beerus on here. So he, who is he the rival of? Is it his brother? No, his brother is not on the list. So what the hell? This is just another weird category. Because Pike, 
Pecan is also on here. Sorry, I almost said his name wrong. But Pecan is also on here. And again, his rival is Goku. And there's not a single Goku. So I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, but the unit itself is extremely good. I think if Dokkan actually invested in other types of units, this problem with Piccolo like not linking well or... Not even that he's not linking well, he has shocking speed, but like if Dokkan didn't focus so much on one specific type of unit for so long, and they're starting to do the thing where they're starting to get like... So to me, key isn't a problem because there's supports, and I think Namekians has uh, old Kami as a support, and I want to say, let me check under rivals real quick. Let me check under rivals to see what kind of other supports they got. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Well, for Namekians, I know there's also the um, the free to play, uh, Bifo and Stogo that I mentioned previously from Universe Six. So they're also support units. But the point is, is that I think Piccolo is extremely good. I think the people who are discounting Piccolo live in this weird world where like a good unit is only a unit that fits with every other unit. But, like, if Piccolo can perfectly function in his team and his team is perfectly good and the only thing that's hampering it is that you can't find another Piccolo, then it sounds like that's a problem with Dokkan. And there's no problems with Piccolo. So it's time to get to the big boy scale. That's what I feel about it. Um, there's no one really to play off of. I don't know how Zen felt. I should have asked how Zen felt. Uh, I'll pretend to be Zen and I'll say, uh, these are very good animations and Dokkan shouldn't be thought of that much. Thank you, Zen. Uh, on the big boy scale, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5 big boy. The only reason he's not higher is because, again, those things I mentioned, but that's still enough to make him top of the top class for me. There's really just like, there's going to be a day when there's another leader for rivals that is not just Piccolo, where people are going to go, holy shit, I need Piccolo. Same thing for Kid Goku, where all the people who said Kid, Go Kid Goku is bad, the second there's a team that uses Kid Goku, they're going to be like, oh, never mind. He's actually extremely good, and I'm just a dumbass who follows too closely into actually caring about where things need to be tiered or something. Anyway, all right, I guess I had a lot to say about Piccolo, I guess. Well, let's go on to questions. I'm almost positive there is no YouTube questions, but if you have a YouTube question, leave it there. Um, if I forgot yours and you left one there last time, tell me, and I'll give yours top priority to actually answer. Again, I'm, I apologize for Zenrat not being here, but that's just the way the world is. So let's get into these questions. Uh, first question comes in from my sister, we got my mom, who says, hashtag watch Stuber, which I agree. Watch Stuber. This episode is actually sponsored by Stuber. Zen's not here, so I can say this. Go watch Stuber. It's a lot of fun. The action scenes could be better. They could be better shot, for sure. But it has Batista, it has Camille Namjami, and it has that guy from The Raid, and it's really good. It's really funny. It's not like, I'm not going to say it's the funniest movie I've seen all year, because it's not, but it's also just very good. If you just want, like, you know, a good old relaxing time, watch Stuber. It's better than the name. The name kind of sucks. And to be fair, the person in the movie, the movie also recognizes that the, the name sucks. That does not fix the fact that the name sucks, though. So, yeah, watch Stuber. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so my sister says, would you forget uh, Mimi in the bathroom? And let me... She attached a picture, so let me just quickly show you this picture. Let me take down this picture of Rhyme Style as Golden Windy Eye. Geo. Don't tell Zen I forgot the name of Geo, his favorite protagonist of JoJo. There we go. There's Mimi. So, fun story. The reason. Oh, thank you for the question, Yaoi Mom. The reason she brings up this question is because my brother forgot about Mimi. And I was, I went up to my brother, and my brother, uh, you know, gently punched me in the stomach or something. He did something. He did a motion. No, he was actually being very aggro. He didn't punch me. Let me take that back. Statement struck, and he did not punch me. But he did act very aggro towards me, and I said, why are you acting so aggro? And then he goes, oh, my God, I forgot Mimi. And then she immediately ran out the room because he left Mimi in the bathroom to eat. Then he forgot that he had to actually watch the damn dog because the dog has no teeth and is old. So he just left her there in the bathroom eating. And then it just made me and my sister laugh on end because it was so freaking funny. 
Uh, thankfully, Mimi was okay. She turned over her bowl and then peed on something, which was unfortunate. But hey, he cleaned it up, I think. So, would you, so the answer is I would never forgive Mimi in the bathroom. I love Mimi. She's a great duck. Next question comes in from Nighthawk, who says, "Who are your top three or five favorite Joe Bros?" Also, if Zenrod is on this time, may I please get you an invite to your Discord server? I have JoJo memes, if that helps. It's Nightmare TM. Uh, I'm not going to say the rest because I don't want to blow up his spot. Dude, you got to just add Zenrot. You got to really <laughs> start adding Zenrot and say, can I please join your Discord? And then you have to hope that he's not on vacation, which he currently is on. So uh, maybe that's unfortunate. But you really need to start asking him because it's chances are he's more on Twitter than he's on this show. Well, except for the times that he's been multiple multiple times suspended. So who knows? Uh, in terms of top three or five j- favorite Joe Bros, is that like the friends of the Joe Bros? Because then it's uh, then it's uh, Zappelli. Uh, part one Zappelli, I should say. But actually Caesar too. Caesar, Zappelli, Speedwagon, old Speedwagon, and then... Um, Oh, let me see. I'm trying to trying to remember his full name. It's a the it's the Zappelli in Part Seven. I don't want to say more than that because I don't want to accidentally. It's there's a Zappelli in Part Seven who I really like, and I will say he is the the fifth one for me. Uh, thank you for the question. I really hope you one day find Zenrod's uh, Discord. He said that if you just ask him, he'll let you in. But so far, not really working for you. Next question comes in from Soul, and he asks, Do you think My Hero Academia deserves the hate that it gets? What are your honest opinions about it when it comes to comparing it to other modern shonen? Um, no, it doesn't. But really, I don't think many of the things that get hate deserve some hate. Uh, the only exception being Black Clover, because I haven't seen Black Clover, so I actually don't know if it deserves the hate it gets. I'll say that for My Hero, it's very enjoyable. And for it to have, it has one really bad arc, just horrible. I did not like it at all, which is the one where Class A fights Class B, and it's I think complete dog shit because I just don't care about anything. And then the, re- and then it's unfortunate because it wasn't very good. And then there's a reveal, which I won't say what it is, but there's a reveal in it that also kind of makes the entire experience sour because it's like, couldn't you have just given this this? Did we really need to do all the fucking pomp and circumstance of every single one of these characters? Which I feel just, I just could not give a shit about, like, the idea of, like, class warfare. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about class A versus class B. I don't care. Um, and then the current arc of villains, I haven't caught up with it, but it's actually very good. I liked it so far. So I don't really just think it deserves a hate. And then again, the other arcs, varying degrees of quality, but I think all good all around. Uh, so no, I don't really think, sorry. I guess, I guess the biggest hate I've ever seen for it is truth. Which Truve also really loves Black Clover, so maybe that should show. Again, if you like Black Clover, it's cool, man. I I genuinely think that if you like something, just fucking like something, and then don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. It's similar to GT. It's like, yes, I hate GT. Yes, I think GT is horrible, but for the people who like it, they should just like like it. Don't don't let my opinion of it change the fact that like you should be ashamed about what you like. Your well, the thing GT is not hurting anyone. It hurt me when I watched it, but it was fine. And how does it compare to other modern shonen? The only other modern shonen I've seen is We Can't Study, and I'll say We Can't Study is better than My Hero Academia. Sorry. Hard facts on that one. Uh, there's no... if I know um, if you want some more uh, shonen stuff, you should go to Zen's channel and listen to Full, full Course Manga, which he does with uh, Neo and he does with Rick which is very good uh where they go into like talking about discussing uh modern shonen also i'm not bringing up one piece because i just don't i read it and then i got a good amount of it but then i don't really feel like continuing reading it right now so who knows i mean there's a definite thing of like what's the right word for it skeletons in the closet Kind of. Not skeletons in the closet, because that makes it seem like I'm hiding something. It's more like I just haven't really read up on a lot of other modern shonen besides, again, We Can't Study. We Can't Study. Fantastic. And then if there's another one, it's uh, Yuna, 
the haunted hot springs which again i think yuna might be better than my hero academia uh so <laughs> so to put that list together we got um uh we can't study number one number two yuna number three my hero academia and that's only because those are all the modern ones that i actually bother to keep up with if i ever read any of the others maybe i'll we'll ask this question again so thank you for the question though airfighter asks what's your favorite nintendo game uh that's tough i want to say it's the mario games because i love platformers so much and it's specifically because mario so good is why i love platformers so super mario brothers 2 american as it's known in japan is my probably my favorite nintendo game yeah that one takes a little bit i actually had to really think about that question and i'm still not 100 percent sure there's a lot of good nintendo games out there to just boil it down to one if it was not that then i would say probably paper mario one i love paper mario one paper mario one is so good if you actually listen to some um videos of mine you can hear the music from paper mario sprinkled out through it uh i haven't done it recently but you know keep your eye out ear out for that uh so it's definitely a mario game i just don't know which one so thank you for the question and the last question is what would your, from Ethan Pace, who says, what would your ideal JoJo PPP X DBZ Dokkan Battle crossover event be like? Um, hmm. I feel like, um, it'd have to be the for part, for all parts, the protagonists of each one, right? And Dio. So it'd have to be Jonathan, uh, Geo, Dio. Um, and then the others I can't remember right now because I'm super fucking tired um, Jotaro stuff like that <laughs> like I'm so tired I can't remember Jotaro right now I'm recording these super late at night um, that's what Dokkan would get in terms of what would uh, Pitter Patter Pop get hmm who would work good in that cutesy art style Krillin I want to, yeah, you know, Krillin, Goku, Chi Chi. Uh, hmm. Well, let's assume that if, okay, so there's five parts, like I said, the four, protagonists of the five parts plus Dio, that's six. So that that means PvP should get six as well. So it would be, like I said, Chi Chi, Krillin, Goku, Ultimate Gohan. Um, maybe replace Chi Chi with Bulma. Only because, not because I like, uh,. Well, maybe because more people like Bulma. And I think Bulma works more in that art style. And the specific GG I would want would only be the Dragon Ball GG, the one from the World Tournament, that fought Goku to get marriage. Um, you could do Trunks. And then if there's uh, Vegeta, of course, Vegeta has to be there. And then Piccolo. And that's the ones I would pick. And then if there's a villain, it's Frieza. So. And then it'd be real fun. The thing that was lame about the last crossover that um, Dokkan had with an actual, like, gotcha game, which was the One Piece one, is that it was lame as hell because we got a Goku, and then they got, like, their Fuzzy Jacket Man. I want Fuzzy Jacket Man in Dokkan and not the other way around. That doesn't make sense. If you're doing, if you're going to do a crossover, you can't have your character be the reward for it unless they're specifically in a weird getup or something. It just doesn't make sense. That's what I'd like, though. Um, so thank you for the question. I really went in depth in, in all of them. At least I think so more than usual because it was only five questions. So uh, if you enjoyed it, I hope you did. Otherwise, uh, you know, Solo Wokey is not my favorite when it comes to not Solo Wokey. I'm not here alone. You're here with me and so is Snake Drinking Water. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and say if you liked it leave a like if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hopefully one day we will get zen back i swear to god <laughs> so goodbye everyone have a nice day and remember don't play dokkan because if you do you go to hell before you die and that's no good <laughs> Bye.